Working with components in XD is a great addition to your workflow because it's going to increase your speed as well as allow you to work smarter than ever before. Components are located right here inside of your assets panel. So you can create anything you see right here into a component. You can use colors for components, you can use character styles, and you can use components for different elements. So let's get started. When I click right here, you can see that now I can select my component from right here and I can add component from here and I can also use shortcut control or command key to convert anything you see to a component. So basically you're not going to use different components right here for the text because we already have character styles and this is going to allow you to quickly drag and drop and apply different character styles to different texts. So for example, we want to use this color in the future. You can simply click right here and it will add that color to here. We can use this color as well because it's a bit different and let's quickly change this color to maybe, I don't know, light blue or something like that. Maybe this color, it really doesn't matter. And you can click on it and click right here to add that. And as you can see, when you select a group, which this button is because it contains button as well as the text, it's going to select those two colors. So it's really smart that way. Just imagine you have 50 different elements inside of one group and you can select the entire group, click right here. It's going to add all of the colors inside of that group right here. So why this is important, just let me make a quick copy so I can select this text, hit control D and I can move it right here and I can simply change the color to red, for example. But if I want to use this color for this text, I can simply click right here and it's going to apply that color. Now, if you want to change this color, it's going to globally apply that change to all of the instances you have of that color inside of your artboard and not just this artboard, but the entire XD document. So I can right click on it and choose copy if I want to copy this color or I can click edit. And for example, I can use this color and you can see that it applies those changes in real time. So you can really easily change that color. Just imagine that you're working with the client and the client changes their mind. For example, they don't like this color and they might say to you, okay, change that color to a lighter one. You can simply do this, send them the design if they don't like it and say, okay, maybe we can try a blue color. You can click right here. They can even add you a hex code. So just imagine you can use 3C6FF, for example, for nice blue, and it will automatically change no matter how many instances you have inside of your design. So using assets, using components and colors, it's really important. It re it's really going to speed up your workflow. It's really going to allow you to work with less hustle in your life. It's going to really free up your time and really improve your workflow overall. Below that, we have character styles. So you can once again click on the text, you can click right here and it's going to apply that character style using that same color. But when I click right here, it's going to apply exactly the same character style because it is exactly the same light to 90 heavy, light to 90 heavy as you can see right here, but it's going to do that in a different color. So when you click right here and apply the character styles, as you can see, it's different once again. So why this is important, if I make a change, so hit control D for example, and duplicate this one more time, I can maybe even remove some of this text and place it for example right here. And if I want to use this character style for this text, I can simply click on it and it will apply that character style to this text. So as you can see, making changes globally is extremely easy with Adobe XD and using all of these components, colors and character styles. Now moving on, if you want to create a component for your shapes, for your, for example, buttons, uh, icons, colors, and so on, you can use components right here below. You can click right here, or you can use Control or Command K, and it's going to create a component called button, and it's going to show you how many instances you have on your design. So when I click right here, you can see that it changed. If I do Control zero to go back, you can see that it changed from group when I hit control K once again to this diamond. And this diamond indicates that this is the main instance of this component. You can see it right here. So if I zoom in a little bit closer, you can see this green diamond indicated that this is the default state of this component. And this is the master component. And you can have as many 
uh, child components as you want inside of one master component and when you make changes to the master component it's going to apply all of those changes to the children components you have created as well and you have these states for the components so for example you can click right here this is the default state you can choose hover state so when you hover over those components it's going to show you the hover effect so let's choose hover state and you can change the name let's just use hover and for the hover maybe i can just edit it slightly and i can jump inside maybe include a shadow maybe make it 20 20 and i don't know something 10 for example this is going to be our hover state and when i jump back to my components you can see that this is the hover state this is the default state so when you animate this later and when somebody clicks uh, or hovers rather on your button it's going to display this one you can even go a bit further you can change this text to be to become different and for example if i click on the hover state and then jump inside i can change the color maybe to this color for example so when we jump from default state to hover state it's going to change the color you can change the text the positions you can add icons and so on and so forth and finally we can add multiple states so default state is this blue color i can add a new state and call it red and on this red i can double click and choose a red color as you can see and when we jump back to the default state we have it right here we have the hover and we have the red you can add as many of these states as you want so just imagine you have different buttons inside of your design you have blue red green and yellow for example you can add all of those states and quickly apply global changes to those states because just imagine you can for example hit alt hold it and simply create a copy right here click right here go back to the default state this is your red state and because i used alt to make a copy you can see that now this diamond has changed so it's filled right here and it's hollow right here and that is displayed right here as well as well as right here so we have the default state which is the main component master component and we have the hover uh, sorry red state which is in this state right here and it's the children component of this master component you can see that it's blue right here but if i click on the red you can see how that looks like if i hold my alt key and make another copy right here and choose hover effect for example you can see that it's still a child component of this master component and you can see that it changes right here so if you want to make any further changes to this master component this button uh, right here you can do that uh, right here so when i double click to jump inside to edit this master component i can for example increase the corner radius to 50 press enter and you can see that it applied that same change to all of these components i can click right here and move the text and you can see that it applies automatically to all of these child components you see right here if i want to increase the size for example maybe i can click right here on a btn maybe increase the height to 100 press center you can see that it increases the height on all of these child components as well as on this master component so let me bring it back to the center like so maybe move it here and you don't have to have exactly the same look for all of these child components this is just an example but this is just to show you how many possibilities are there so just imagine that you have 50 different artboards right here and suddenly clients uh, client decides that they want to include an icon with this button so what could you do you have this option that i already showed you that you can change all of these uh, different components and states using just basically one click or you can go through all of those different artboards and make all of those changes and just lose time or you can use this technique and simply do that in like five minutes or so so that's basically it for the components in the next video we're going to quickly cover plugins panel so i'll see you there